Chica. 
wait, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's match. Tonight we are going to have Thomas College versus Rowan University Gold. The game's already underway, as you can see here, as we are headed on into it. It's going to be the Terriers on orange with the Owls on Team Blue here. Rowan now currently in control, but losing it over to Rudo. Rudo's going to try to get himself set up for the team here, trying to get this shot in place for Swift to try to play off of it, but it's a bit of a miss there. Given that this is going to be a first match out of a best of five series, that goal is going to be helping them lead strong here to start tonight. So we're going to have to see the Terriers start to get some defensive plays going here into this match tonight in order to get things along. Nonetheless, with one on the board already and a demolition to boot here. Thomas College is not playing around. They go right on in for the nice slip right into the goal. A great start up there from either side. Scores now evened up one to one. Looking very strong here. Outsides have evened on up. Gonna have to see who's gonna be really making the difference here. Thomas College is gonna start with control of this ball here, trying to pull the same shenanigans, but doesn't get away with it this time. Passes on over to Rudel, who can only try to have the assistance from M4. Have to watch out here, however. The Owls are in a position to score. They have control of this ball, and they're not losing it anytime soon. Trying to pass it back and forth across the side of the field here. What you really need is a send away, like so there from Swift. Rudo has to get there in time to make the follow-up off the wall here. M4, can they make it? Yes, sir. He gets it up off the wall, going for the air. They lose it over to Lottie Lettuce, but Swift is there in time, looking for the follow-up. Gets the goal! A great show of teamwork right there. Being able to play off the pass and get it right on in. Scores now 2-1 in favor of Thomas College here. With the ball in play and three and a half minutes left on the board. Making its way over to the Terrier side of the field here. The Owls are going to be looking for this catch-off. And they're able to get it away to start. But Rudel's able to get it past. Or Strudel, I should say. Rudel going to have to try to wrap back around over to the goal while it's up to M4 to get it in position here. Looking good for a setup. Can Swift make the fall? Not quite as they needed. They had to play it off there as they just didn't have enough juice to get there in time. Playing very smart defensively here. Wrapping around, making sure that you keep the rotation going. Keep a man on every single time. First, M4. Now against Swift. M4 comes back on around. Looking for a shot to make here, but gets blocked off by Lottie Lettuce. The Owls haven't given up at all here. Pass back over to the side of Thomas College with a narrow dodge on the, the limb. Going for a shot. Denied there by Tris Zero. Ball's up in play here, and it looks like Bulk is going to be sending it off. Bulk here could make an aggressive setup for inside team. Goes for a soft hit, and a demo right on through. Volkenzi with the goal. I was not expecting this at all. I figured that it might have been stopped by Swift, but it was just a full frontal attack that you could not get away from. Even up once more here, two to two, two minutes and 20 seconds on the board now. Ball's up in play, M4 going for it. Unfortunately, they get knocked away by Tristero. Well, Kenzie is gonna pass it over to Lottie Lettuce, who just misses it off of M4-1. M4 here trying to get in position, working with Strudel to get this ball passed. Now looking for the shot potentially as they pass over the Swift. But that ball just going to be knocking on up here. They're looking to just try to get this ball on the ground, the Owls are. It seems that their kind of style is just to keep it down low and move like a speeding bullet. As for the side of the Terriers here, Thomas College plays a bit with their food. They go up in the air and place it with some hat tricks, no less. Just almost has that gold there, but Lottie Lattice reads it perfectly. Christo now looking to try to block it off, but miss, misjudges the jump. 
with M4 here having to recover himself to get on the side as needed. They have to rotate over to the fence here as the ball is just getting passed around all over the side of the Owls field. They're kind of just playing a bit of a time waster, I'm being honest here. It's not looking great, but that was a great knockaway there from Tris Zero to be able to help his team start to get a bit more control on this ball again. Now going to be sending it up towards midfield. Has to get it off of M4 here, but does not have the ability to get up into the air. Has to get the stop. Gets there! Just as needed. Predicts where the trajectory was going, and now it's going to be working off the wall here. M4 is going to try once again here. Did it before, and he'll do it again. Goes for a double tap, but not to have the follow-up there. Lottie Lewis has been eliminated there. So now with 30 seconds remaining and counting, they're going to have to see a goal from either side. At least they go into overtime here. It's looking a bit dicey here for the Terriers. It's all up on their side of the post here. They need to get away from Volkenzi, who's been able to get two goals so far. Tristio able to send it down over to the Terrier side of the field here. Well, Shudo's now going to be looking to make the recovery. Swift has to get in position for a shot, but not able to get there in time as Volkenzi's there with the save. 10 seconds remaining now. Going for the shot, but just misses it. With just mere seconds remaining, will they find a goal? I highly doubt it here. If they do, it will be a great one for them. But as predicted, that's going to be going into overtime here. So now, in the overtime, you're working with a bit of sudden death here. As soon as someone gets a goal, it finishes off the round. Save their immediately from the side of the Terriers as they're going to be trying to make their way on over to the side of the Owls field. M4 really taking up a lot of speed there, but losing a, a bit of that control that is needed. The ball gets by! It's a disastrous error on the side of the Terriers there! But the Professor Owls get it right on under! That's going to give the first one on over to Rowan University. Now, I did not get to say it fully before, but I'll say it again for those of you just tuning in. This is a best of five series. There's the first in favor of Rowan. So now the Terriers are going to have to work hard in order to get themselves back on their feet and push them forward. But I have to be looking for a bit more technical gameplay here while working the mechanical as well communication is a big key in this game so we'll have to see what strategy the Terriers are going to be coming out with into this second round if I had the opportunity to we'll have to take a look later at possibly doing some predictions here for the chat but that'll be much later down the line back on into it we're into round number two here and let's take a look at how these teams are going to play it you have the starting angles here two from the middle and one from the flank going right for the ball first start going on over to the terrier side of the field return the sender as we see there thomas college now trying to get this ball into a position where they can send it away. Everyone's starting to get a bit of juice, but they don't have enough to work with quite yet. Swift just missing the orb there, trying to take control of that ball. But thankfully, M4 gets into position here, having a bit of a skin change up here, probably working with a bit of strategy. That was a beautiful knockaway. Unfortunately, the Terriers were not in a position to capitalize off of that great play there, so they're gonna have to learn from that and try to go for it again, potentially. Gonna be playing off midfield here as M4 is demoed on out. Does get the respawn here, but you gotta send it away. Swift able to knock it on downfield. Could be going for a great play here, but just hits it right under. Not really able to get into a spot that they were looking for. Volkenzi is down and out, but the ball has made its way back to, to the Terrier side of the field, so they cannot take advantage of that initial demo. Another demo! We're playing blows for blows here. I feel like I'm watching a boxing match rather than a, a soccer one. Gonna be sending down and away. This is looking like an open goal. They gotta get there in time, but not able to as Swift's able to get that scored. A bit out there. You see how the Owls are playing a bit too aggressive, and they get punished for it here. That's not going to be something that they let go by them easily. Now, learning their lesson, scores 1-0 in favor of the Terriers starting in round two. Now, it's going to be starting back on over to the outside. The field, Schroeder was in a great position to pass here. 
just misses M4, but they do get the demo onto Trist. Trist is now going to have to recover, staying on the defensive here to catch the goal. But Bokenzi from the top ropes, able to swing on through Vladi Lettuce, trying to go for the smackdown, but, but denied by Strudel. M4 now is going to be in position here, trying to recover this ball, but does not have the angle they're looking for. Volkenzi goes for the pass over to Tristo, and from Tristo trying to get over to Volkenzi, but Lotto, Lotti Lettuce is there to receive. Realize they don't have the stop gap they needed there, so they're going to play it on back, rotate around, and now go for another set of Lottie Lettuce for the knockaway. All three defensive players go there for the hit, with just under three minutes now. Going for a shot, but denied there by Strudel once again. M4 is going to be trying to pass it on over here, but not going to be able to find it. Swift playing safely in goal here. Pass over to Strudel. Strudel is going to send it on down the field to the Owls there. Now M4 just trying to juggle it on through. Gets the first denial there against the defenders. And now it's going to be passed back on over to the Terrier side of the field here. Thomas College is going to have to get set up here for the defensive. Get past the one, but does not get past Strudel. Strudel now going to be looking to run up this wall here against them. Swift able to get that first knock away and saves it against Volkenzi. And for passing it on through, it's looking good, but denied there by Lottie Lattice. Tristo suffers at the hands of a demo. Passing on over. Swift was able to save it there, and swings on through, just a near miss collision there, Strudel going to be trying to go for the knockdown in a way, but loses the ball over the Tristo. Scratch that as a pass back and forth here, we're going to be looking for the setup right above the goalpost here, but it's not going to be in the greatest of positions, so close, but so far. Swift trying for a play, but not going to be finding it. Volkenzi knocks away the defender, allowing Lottie Les to start passing it on down. But Strudel plays a bit on the corner there, which allows them to deny it for a moment. It's getting pretty heated here, just under a minute 30 now, as they're going to be looking to get an initial play here. Going with M4, now passing on over to Strudel. Strudel's now going to have to get some momentum going here, but it goes on past. That's going to cost you. Looking for the goal to scare it, but Volkenzi saves it in the end. Volkenzi now working his way on down, gets the boost as well, maybe gets the demo on the Strudel if he's greedy enough for it. Joe's trying to go for a juggle in the air, gets past the first, the second, looking for the third, gets it through the third, it's a goal! Through thick and thin there, able to get it past all of the L's there. A beautiful setup for an additional lead. Thomas College leading 2-0 here with under a minute left. Ball in play, making its way over to the outside of the field, pass over to the Terriers. The Terriers really just need to play a game of keep away here. They can go for goals and they will do it, but just hits off the wrong player's side there. Should have been in there, but the angle was wrong. M4 trying to go for a follow-up, but lets it go awry. It seems these players are kind of just playing around with it, letting it juggle. Maybe understanding that they can't get this goal quite per se, but they're not going to be ones to give up anymore. M4 going for the setup there. Passing over to Swift. Swift going for the knock-in. Denied there by Lottie Lettuce. Lottie Lettuce now passing over to Volkenzi. Volkenzi gets denied there by the Terriers. Tristo going to try to be passing it on over. Volkenzi playing defensive, but M4 makes its way through. Going to be looking for a follow-up off the wall. Hits it off the wrong angle with five seconds remaining. There's not really much of any chance here for the side of Rowan to get this goal. Just going for the follow-up, final shot, saved by Tristo there. They're keeping it alive, they're looking for the follow-up, just hits off the ground. Thomas College able to take round number two there, tying the series one-to-one. -one. I said it before, and it looks like it was working. We were seeing a lot more communication, a lot more rotation there from the side of Thomas College. For Rowan, things seem to be a little on the odd side, if you will. We were seeing them kind of juggle things a lot, but not really pushing through like they were in round one. Uh, in comparison, Thomas College started to do the same, but then got a, a lot more aggressive this round, as you were seeing blows for blows. So this might be the strategy just continuously going forward for the side of Thomas as it's just a natural part of the game to get these demos out. As for the side of Rowan, 
I think they might need to match suit. They were trying to earlier, which was burning the clock quite a bit. Neither side was able to get a goal until a mistake was made where one side or the other overcommitted themselves. Going into round three here. Five minutes on the board and counting here. Shudo taking control of this ball. Loses it over to Lottie Lettuce. Now M4 is playing off the wall here. Another change up on the skin and an immediate goal. I'm going to be honest. Is it just me or is M4 just consistently snagging them in one after the other? Something you really want to take notes about. Truly textbook there. Initial start with the goal for the side of Terriers there. 1-0 to zero with just under... Just under the five minutes within those ten seconds. And for going for another goal. It's looking good. It's going. But denied there by Lottie Lettuce. Lottie Lettuce has been a true paramount defender there for the side of the Owls. Now Rowan going to be looking for a knockdown here. And away. Swift has to take control of this ball. But gets the monster by Tristo. Volkenzi looking for the shot. But it hits off wrong against them four there. They go for a hit on collision. Knocking either side on back. Passing on over to the outside of the field here. It's making its way down court. Swift trying to get there in time. Just misses Volkenzi. Volkenzi has a real big struggle. A big weight on their shoulders. Trying to get this ball down the field every single time. They're playing a lone hero here. Trying to get some plays going. I think what we need to see here. And we're seeing it right now. Is some committing. Volkenzi there with the goal. Things turned around. There was the overcommit. They thought they had it, but they did not. M4 was not able to swing around in time to stop it. Ties up the round here. 1-2-1 one, one, with just under four minutes left. Head-on collision there, but no demolitions. Ball is going to start its way over on the outside of the field here, but immediately start to make its way back over to the Terriers here with the assistance of Tristo. But it seems that I'm going to be wrong in that call there. It's going for a follow-up, but Swift hits it off the wrong angle. Pushing their way on through the spike ball. Kenzie following. Lottie Lettuce is going for the setup here, but does not get it passed over to the right person in time. Able to make that save there and pass over M4. Swift going for the follow-up here, but it's going to be right in the hands of Tristo here with Lottie Lettuce setting on up. Despite the sacrificial bunt, it goes for the pass-up. Going with the goal. That was some team play right there, setting it on up for the knockaway. Now we see the Owls have the lead. Thomas College now down by one. It's two to one. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here in round three, and they're off. Well, Kenzie sending it back over to the Terriers, trying to see if they can get another one going here. Getting very aggressive, pushing on through. That's the demo, and they're looking for the juggle through, but they're not able to get it thanks to M4 and the assistance of Swift. But things can start to get a bit dicey here if they get sloppy. Thomas College has to just get this ball off their side of the court. They need to get it out of the post because this is an ample time to score. If they can get it, they just need to knock it on in, but not able to find it. Just too many bumps and jumps as they're going to have to try to recover from that one. Ball is going to be set up just off to the side of the corner there. Looking for a shot. It's looking good. Just saved there by Volkenzi. Able to get there in time. Volkenzi now taking control here but loses all power here. Not what you want to have happen especially when you have to be on the defense. Has to wrap back around try to gain as many orbs as possible but it doesn't matter. M4 scores again. It was real tight there, as you can see, just barely getting on in. But a point is a point, no matter how you scratch it. Two to two with two minutes, 21 seconds. Ball starting over on the outside of the field. It's going to be going for a setup. Swift with a shot. Denied by Lottie Lettuce. And Ford tried to go for a follow-up there, but it has to wrap around quickly, quickly, quickly now as Strudel was able to make that initial save. Volkenzi sends it up and away, but loses their life as a result. Body Lettuce able to try to do the same, gets knocked back down and away. Going to be playing up off the wall here, looking for the knock-in, but just saved there by the side of Strudel. With Swift and M4 able to get that demo for collateral on either side. It's all going to be about this knockout, and they're able to get it. M4 is going to be looking to position to set the team on up. Strudel has to be there, but that's got a smart. Seeing him die in the background there, you really hate to see it. 
Now going to be looking for the setup there. Oh, just gets away from me. Unfortunate there. Tristan's now going to have to try to play it up off the wall here. See if they can get their team in position here. But he gets past them. That's Switch with the first, the second, the score from M4. He just comes in directly down under. Look at him snickering his way on through. Taking the lead once more is going to be Thomas College here, but only by one with a minute 21. Now it's up to the Owls to try to match this expectation here. Having to even the odds. It's going to be passing up towards the center here. Swift looking to get just nice and easy into it, but not going to be able to find it there. Shudo trying to pass on through, but only going to set up for the fender to try to knock it away. Like so. Tristan is able to do just that. Now Lottie Lettuce with the follow-up. Tristan with the setup. And it has to be something from Kenzie there. Well, Kenzie helping Lotto Les to get the knock in, but the car is too flat. It goes over the Tristo, and that's going to be a demo as well. Now you're down numbers, and you have to play defensively once more. Well, Kenzie spawns in time to get there for the jump, but it's getting a bit wild. It's going to far and wide here. Another demo against Paul Kenzie. They do not want him playing the game. Takes it back in time for the respawn, but it has no ability to wrap back around. M4, once again, scores the goal. I think you saw the just missed hit there. Lottie Lettuce was looking to get the tip of his bumper there to knock it at an angle, but he turns too soon, causing the ball to go straight on through. Swift tries to go for a wrapped shot here, but not able to get into a spot they were looking for. Shiro does stop him here from knocking it away. Ball's up in the air, but M4 is there to retrieve it, looking for the setup, but Swift is just playing interference here. Look at that, they're blocking the defender again and again and again, both in the goal and out to make sure they do not have the ability to get the movement they need. Ball's ready to hit this ground here, one second. And that is going over to Thomas College. I'm in a bit of a uh, celebration there from R2D2 himself. The legend, the myth. Now it's coming down to match point here. If Thomas College wins this next one, they will take the series. So Rowan has to work extra hard now in order to make sure they can stay alive and swing it on back they had the initial round now they got to continue to maintain their mental focus here going into round number four we'll see how things go here as everyone is ready to on up <clears throat> welcome to round number four here five minutes on the clock anyone's game but match point in favor of thomas college we're going to have to see what the strategy is this time around. Balls in play, and it's an immediate sideswipe there. Gets sent back over to the Owls, but that was looking a bit weary there for the side of the Terriers. Gonna have to be very careful with your setup here. Tristo going for the setup, but Swift knocks not only Tristo, but the ball away as well. Volkenzi could try to go for a play, but Lottie Lettuce gets taken down. Almost gets the goal there, just misses off the side. Tristo almost had that. Needs to have assistance there for the ball. Bloody Lettuce finds it. They're having a bit of issues there before, but they're able to find it when they need it. Lottie Lettuce able to get that goal there. Helps set up Rowan University with the initial lead in this round four. You hear the cry of the crowd there. Really excited to see the plays going on out. Lottie Les is going to be trying to play offensively here, but needs to be ready to wrap on back. Swift sets it up once again. Not going for the real spike quite yet. They're just trying to get this going. Have some initial momentum from either side, but the ball is just losing it every time. Bokenzi, however, is in a great position for a shot. Gets the nine there with the save by Swift and Tristo. Gets punished from behind, unfortunately for them. They're going to have to play a very smart defensively here to get this ball back out off of their field. They have the juice, and they can start to carry it on through. That's to try to get it on in there. Volkenji now making his way, wrapping him back around here, but Swift is in a position to retrieve. 
Ball makes its way back over the side of the Owls field here. Lariles coming out on the goal to try to start taking the lead for a shot here, but just too much girth there, pushing into the hood of Lottie Lettuce, and that causes the demo there. Volkenzi now passing over to Tristo, but Tristo now has to get back, wrap it over to the goal, just in case the ball gets by. And it looks like that's going to be just the case here, being able to knock away that momentum and play things a bit more tricky. Doubles down, getting it over to the side of the Terrace, and looking for Volkenzi to make the follow-up, but it goes past Volkenzi. Lottie Lettuce, the last one around that can do something here. It gets past Lottie Lettuce. Things were very close there for the side of the Owls. They had to be careful because things can go awry in a minute of a moment. Swift trying to go for the setup there. Lottiles now in control, setting up off the side of the wall here and now going to be looking to push it, but gets it missed. Swift now taking it down the side of the field here. It's looking good for a setup, but Lottie Lettuce is there with the save nonetheless. Shudo going for the knockaway M4 for the shot. Denied there by Volkenzi. It's every air shot you can imagine. And now this is looking dangerous here. Thomas Cole just able to get that save there thanks to Swift. But Volkenzi is now in control. Able to get past that one with Lottie Lettuce passing up as well. Looking for the goal. Just goes awry there thanks to Shudo's save. Going to be going up off the wall here. Looking for a potential spike. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Not in. I stand corrected! I believe there was a mistake made there from the side of the Terriers. Volkenzi should have been the one to get that in, but Swift was going too fast, and as a result, that's its self goal there. Now, leading 2 0 here is Rowan University. They found their break, but now they have to hold it with these two minutes going. It's looking like a great shot here. Just saved. Like, by Volkenzi. Now in for looking for the knock-in. Gets it down! I wasn't sure he was going to get that there, but it sets it up beautifully for the spike. Now, able to find the point immediately after an own goal there. Thomas College has some fight in them, but they need another to even the odds here that have been pushed up against themselves. Adelaide's in control, setting up to go for a spike here, but loses it over the M4, who's able to nimbly navigate through these strikers. Swift passes over the M4, M4 with a touch, and a hit! No siree! That's going to be a save there by inside the Owls, and from Trisso going, going, denied by Shudo. Volkenzi's going to try to have some assistance here from Lonnie Lettuce, passing back on over, just makes the dodge and interference there. From the pass, able to get that knock away to keep it out of the goal, but doesn't matter as M4 scores once more. Two to two with a uh, one minute and eleven seconds left. Got a real combo going on here. This is coming down to it. If the Owls lose this next goal, especially if we go into overtime, this will spell the end for them. So for the side of the Terriers, they want to make that a reality. Right off the side here, Volkenzi is denied the pass, but gets some assistance. I stand corrected there as Swift is able to take control. Find it down and low here, M4 pass up to, looking for the fall. That's going to be one defender down, but Volkenzi was in place to get control. Body Lettuce able to knock away just as needed, as well as Volkenzi here. They're keeping control of this corner and they're not letting the Terriers really push them around. They're coming around the side there. This is not looking good. The Owls are just able to make the save despite the amount of sheer explosions coming out from one another. Sends it down in a way to the Terriers. Just 15 seconds remaining now. Looking for the pass up here. Has a great opportunity but gets by them. 10 seconds remaining now. Thomas College could get it down and in. That's going to be a first collision there, but Swift with the follow-up. It's in the air. Swift is looking to escort it. It's knocked away. This is not looking good. They're going to have to play for overtime. We're in play. Sudden death. Ball is going to make its way over to the Owls to start, and M4 is looking to do it with style. 
That's going to be Tristo with the a limb against them. As the save was just in time by Shudo. M4 passing it down and away here. Looking for the ball. Gets it as Tristo comes in from behind. Looking for the shot. It's a goal. Ladies and gentlemen, in the overtime, Strudel wins the series. That's going to be it from us here tonight at Thomas College. We do thank you for coming on out and watching. We'll see you all next time.